learning programming today can be overwhelming. With so many languages and frameworks, starting out can be paralyzing. For this, you can pick any language you like and feel free to jump between them. Start out by thinking of something you'd like to do, something you'd like to make a reality. This can be something you've dreamed of or something absurd. It doesn't matter. But I do encourage you to keep this simple or be willing to compromise as you go along. You might not reach your goal tonight, but that's okay. Now I want you to find something as similar as possible. Because you don't yet know how to program, go online and find something that someone else did. What you find can work if it's on its way there, does more, or is simply different. After you get your example working, one step at a time, change what you found into what you want. There are no rules here. Do whatever you feel you need to do to accomplish your goal. Now, there are some tools that you can use to make this easier. The first one is called REPL.IT. If you sign up on this website, it will give you a pre-made environment with a Hello World program for any language you can think of. If you feel like this is cheating, don't worry. Cheating is something programmers do all the time. The next one you're probably familiar with. Google is the number one tool programmers use every day. Start by using Google to find your example or examples. You can also use Google to try to find the ways to make your example what you want it to be. Now, this is not cheating. In fact, this is something that most programmers do every day. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or foolish. Expect that this might take time. Hopefully, it stops feeling long and you're looking at the clock wondering how time has passed so quickly. You will hit plenty of dead ends. Feel free to pivot, change what you're doing completely, or try to do something completely different. Now, this might be where you expect me to show you an example, but not this time. It's important that this is your journey. Once you move on to more traditional methods of learning, keep your desires in mind. If you didn't get what you want this way, or you dream of something more, keep this experience in mind. As you learn more about programming, you can revisit it later and try again. Learning may be the only part of your career where you have the time to do something you want to do instead of something someone else wants to do.